Well, we're here at the Bitwig studio stand with uh, Frederick. Uh, 5.1, out for a little while. Um, what's new? Yeah, so last year at NAMM, I had the pleasure of showing you Bitwig Studio 5 that just came out. This year, NAMM 2024, we're showing Bitwig Studio 5.1 that came out back in December. And the claim or the uh, sl slogan of the release is 10 new characters. And yeah, it's focused on sound design tools, on a bunch of new modules, and a few other things. So yeah, let's get started. And maybe we just start in the grid. So the grid is our modular sound design environment with a selection of some 150 different modules to build your patches, uh, audio effects, instruments, sequencers, and so on. And if we look on the module palette up here in the filter category, you'll see our new friends up here. So three new, uh, what we call character filters, Fizz, Rasp, and Ripple, and one new uh, model-based filter, which is the Wows filter based, on, well, modeled on different uh, voice synthesis techniques. And um, we've spent months, if not years, developing these filters. There's a lot of research, a lot of testing that went into this. And I can just show you a few examples. It's better to hear them than to yeah. talk about them. So um, I prepared a small, simple patch. Okay. And let's um, see. I'm just going to launch the clip here. And this is essentially just a sawtooth oscillator going into our new FIS filter. And I'll just see if I can find some sweet spots here. It sounds like audio rate mode uh, of the filter. Yeah, there's a lot of trickery going on inside of it. A lot of feedback loops inside of the filter. Um, our developers will be able to tell you more, but I just know that they sound amazing. And, and they are just built to, you know, be full of sweet spots or full of like sweet ranges. Yeah, nice. Yeah, go. And they can be like vocal and uh, nasal and uh, go all sorts of places. So let's replace this. Let's prick uh, our friend Rasp instead and see what he has to offer. Just gonna dial down the modulation a bit. And these are of course available in the grid, our, you know, modular environment and not everyone might be so inclined as to start to tinker in their own modular system that's why we also have them available in our friend polymer so polymer is shall we say grid's little sibling it's um shall we say, a um, simple way to get access to all the modules that are inside of the grid. It's kind right. of like a lunchbox of sorts. So let's just launch this melody. And I just have a very simple patch playing again. And if we look at, for instance, the filter section in the middle, I'll just throw up the menu. You'll see our new filters in here as well. But maybe this time we'll pick vowels instead and see what happens. And you get this typical kind of vowel filtery sound. Uh, there are a bunch of different models, if we're going to go all academic, from the 1950s and a bit more modern. And you also have different ways to insert, shall we say, vowels in your oh, range right. to create okay. you know, your custom kind of models. Let's go back perhaps to FIS again. And I want to show you the new oscillator that we also have, which is called byte and this is a very shall we say um, digital dual oscillator with a lot of different sync and uh, XFM options and with built-in ring modulation and if you have 
a dual oscillator, you can do certain things that are um, otherwise only possible in the analog realm, like sync, for instance. Yeah. It's very difficult to do if you have two separate oscillators, at least in a DAW like this. So that's why we put it all into one um, package, and then you can do all sorts of trickery. Now, I mentioned that there were 10 characters. So far, we looked at the filters. We can also look at the wave shapers, where there are um, six different new wave shapers. And we'll take the opportunity to introduce two new devices that are we coming to the Bitwig Studio family. And these are two audio effects. One is Filter Plus. And again, this is kind of like the lunchbox, lunchbox version of the grid. Just gives you access to um, the filters and the wave shapers in, a, in an audio effects environment. Right. So let's just launch this drum clip. Now, it contains a wave shaper slot and a filter slot. And right now, we just have a low pass filter and what we call a heat wave shaper in front of it. Let's see what it does to the sound. So just going to open up the filter completely and start adding some wave shaping. Now this can be, can get loud if we're not careful. So that's why we're combining it with a filter because it's just such a good combination of nice. having yeah. the, the wave shaping is typically adding a lot of harmonics, a lot of distortion and a lot of upper end. And a filter behind that can really like bring it back down and you get this like really nice, uh, well, it can be subtle, but it can also be extreme, depending on what you want to do. So Filter Plus is kind of the, the simple one. We also have a bigger version, which is called Sweep, which is essentially two filter slots and a wave shaper with some, uh, shall we say, routing possibilities and modulation possibilities. Now, you can route it to be um, serial filters or parallel filters, depending on what you want to achieve. So let's just uh, see if we can find some nice sounds. And in this case, the wave shaper is going straight into filter B. Or we can select filter A going into the wave shaper. Yeah, so nice. it's, Lots it's just of different character. Yes, exactly. And the character is, you know, exactly what we're aiming for. Uh, to give you as a sound designer or a musician the possibility to add character to your sound and, you know, make it yours. And I invite your viewers and your listeners to simply explore for yourselves and, uh, and enjoy kind of the more subtle varieties that are very difficult to demo here at NAMM Show. So let's jump away maybe from the characters section and look quickly at some audio design, uh, audio editing updates that we did. So I have a, a simple uh, audio recording take that I did just before and I'm gonna launch, excuse me, let me just first disable the filter and then launch some drums. So we have some backing track a good old friend, uh, Weird Drums, and let's launch this clip, right? So, if we zoom in a little bit, you'll notice that it's not perfectly on time, right? I'm not a virtuoso player by any standard, so it's helpful to do some uh, audio quantizing, right? Now, you could do this, do this manually, of course, going into kind of the stretch mode. You'll notice here there are some, some you know, stretch markers that I can, uh, oops, excuse me, grab a hold of and drag around. Right, that's so one so way of doing traditional it. Traditional warp stuff. But yeah, of course, if you right. have a long clip, that's going to be very tedious to do. So why not let Bitwig Studio do it for you? And let me just make this a little bit bigger. Now, if I right click my event, I have now an option for quantize audio. Now, uh, the main action window is now up here. And you'll see I have different options to snap to grids. But this one is the interesting part. This is the onset threshold setting. So 
So this graph is telling me all the detected onsets of my audio clip, and I can be you know, selective of which to include and which to not, because you know, detection of transient is never going to be perfect. So if I you know, include all of it and snap it, then it might do unexpected weird things. So maybe I just want to dial it down a little bit and only take this very, very strong um, yeah. transient. Yeah. Yeah. And if I hit OK, boom, yeah. So it, it didn't do very much in this case, but it snapped all, the, uh, you know, all my hits to the grid. And voila. That's handy. Nice workflow enhancement. Yeah. And there is maybe one more thing I can show you before um, we move on, and that is that we've done we've done some uh, GUI updates, and more particularly the mixer. So let me just open up this demo project here and jump into the mixer mode, and we've now made it possible to uh, adjust how the tracks are shown. You can make it more narrow or more wide. And you can also increase the height of the meters. So right. if I make some more space here, you'll see that, yeah, it's more customizable. And that was a common feature request that we uh, addressed with Bitwin Studio 5.1. Excellent. So that concludes the tour. I mean, there's mo lots more, but um, I, again, those, those explore the, for the, yourself. Those and are the, the high bullet it. points. So um, as usual, available as part of the update plan, or is this in beta? This is yes, Bitwin Studio 5.1 is a free upgrade for anyone with an active upgrade plan. And uh, yeah, just uh, get on board. Thank you very much. <laughs>